guys, welcome back to another play session of Guild Wars 2, Secrets of the Obscure. <clears throat> well, uh, we should be approaching the end of this uh, expansion, which is great. We're almost done with the, another expansion for Guild Wars 2. Um, I am thinking about uh, um, doing a... Another let's play, possibly on Fallout 4. So, that means that, let's uh, go ahead and continue on with this, and let's go to the Wizard's Tower, because that's where it's telling us to go to. So, where is it at? It's over here. All right, let's go get on our Sky Skill. And let's fly over to this thing. Um, but yeah, uh, we should be approaching near the end of this. I uh, gotta look and see which, how many more chapters we got. Because it did say epilogue. So hopefully those first few chapters weren't the epilogue. Cause that's a huge epilogue. They started really early. So um, usually hear about. 12, 13 chapters long. So, let us go. Where's the portal? Ah, there's the portal. Okay, go straight down to the portal. And there we go. Go into the portal and let us continue on. Dang, loading's gotten longer. All right. Guess we're in the tower. And let us go and continue on our adventure. But I wonder... Did I clean my backpack out? Um, yeah, before we do that, let me go ahead and start cleaning out my backpack. Ooh. Yeah, we need to empty some things in my backpack. Um, so, yeah. Let me go ahead and do this real quick.
Who are you? Oh, I like this one. Thank the spirits, they've got his Garin. See, just fine. Ah, that's about how tall I expected the Wayfinder to be. I think. Someone explain to me what this dove wreck is doing here. I do not want to see this place in ruins over something petty. Are you well? How is your mind? Is your power... your head? I am home. Wasn't sure you'd make it out of that one. Nor I. I need to connect you to one of the Celestial Strands. If someone could get my needle. I could use some water. But you don't need... It reminds me that I'm still alive. More importantly, we have questions to answer. I would very much like to talk to you, Petha. Oh, and I, you... Your Highness. No titles. Not in my home. Oh. Curious. Let's take this somewhere more private. We needn't stress anyone else with that conversation. Urchik will get his far in water. Commander, I have something to discuss with you. I'm... Uh, I'm so glad you're okay. When we woke up, the sky was... Everything okay, Zocha? Come on, Shaman. Let's give them a minute. You just... Uh, let me talk for a minute, please. In order to connect to the flow and access the magical ecosystem, there's a ritual. It makes your memories fuzzy, the personal ones, at least. Uh, you've probably heard about that, uh, unfortunate side effect. When I, I thought you and Iskarin were dead, I, I just... And, and now, I just, I feel very selfish for humoring the idea at all. I mean, won't I be doing the same to you? If I choose to ascend, won't, won't I be leaving you behind? Destiny's Edge? I just... Zoja, I'm not going anywhere. Neither are you. Complicated wizard spells or no, you found a family. You aren't alone. I won't remember much of our past together. A and our friends can't know I'm here. Not, not yet, anyway. I'll be isolated and... We'll figure that out. But it doesn't mean that I can't be friends with whatever version of you I meet on the other side. I... Well, you're a good friend, Commander. Wayfinder, Iskar would like to speak with you. Go ahead, Wayfinder. Are you okay, Little Light? Better clarity. There is a lot to suggest. I realize this. Wayfinder, I'd have preferred to welcome you to our home myself, but Mabon had other intentions. You spared him. Unfortunately, our troubles are not over. As I have never had the chance, I am Petha of House Nefos, though houses... And titles given by Abarg are less than reputable. But in my world, it carries weight. We'll need that. Just because we've felled Zerus does not mean this fight is well and done. The opposite seems to be true. You use language that suggests an alliance. Let me pose this to the Wayfinder wizard. Ebark is alive and well. 
thriving, even on the backs of my kind. Societies limp under poor leaders and recover like clockwork. Abarg is not comparable to Tyrian leaders. He does not simply drain them of wealth or land. He has taken them to eating them. He's... he's feeding on other crypts. Our blood is his blood. And eventually, we will be dissolved. And that is tragic. Killing Abark is a mutual goal, is Garen. I don't meddle in foreign politics, Lady Petha. Letting him devour your entire people, while upsetting, could ultimately help Tyria. Can't start another invasion without bodies, can he? But he can come here himself, and do the same to this world. And he is quite... Fond of it. I've turned away many beings from outside, especially after the gods and the damage they wrought. I have also neglected to ask for help and to accept it when I've needed it most. Wayfinder? Thoughts? Doesn't sound like we have much of a choice. I promise. No deception. The Astral Ward needs to recover before we take action. But I'm not opposed to hearing a plan. <sighs> Your air is a delicacy to breathe. And I could use that indulgence. I trust that Isgarin will help where he's able. But now, I want to ask you. You have saved your home world more than once. And now, I am asking you to help save mine. Wanna walk me through the plan? For now, I just need you. The Cryptus would be overwhelmed if too many of Isgarin's people came through. But if you come in with me and help rally support, we can prepare them for the push against Ebark. Do you think they'll trust me? Far more than they trust their king. And I need them to trust me. Then I'll go with you. Good. I'll leave you to your friends, Wayfinder. I'm sure you've much to discuss. <laughs> of course not. The emotions of your people may smell of wine, but your flesh is not for me. I first tasted your aura quite some time ago. I didn't know it was you then. But you died. And then came back. I felt that ripple, even if it was brief. There are many realms that linger near yours. I assume they felt it too. When you fell into Ceres' trap and first came to Nios, I felt that ripple again. Your life has been precarious. Besides, I needed you alive. At first it was 
Simple curiosity. Ceres was not wrong. You are a... a delicacy to us. Ceres ah, also I... angers so easily. I couldn't miss the opportunity to throw a stone into his pond. But then I saw what you could do. I felt what you had done. We may be born of different rules, but strength recognizes strength. And helping me kill Aceris proved all that I needed. Ceres and Deimos were always horrible. Epoch encouraged that. He raised them to follow his orders and to consume. At least Deimos had the slightest bit of reservation. But even he was too focused on bloodlust. Managed to wiggle past his Garin's barriers, only to get trapped and killed. Ceres? Never stood as tall as our brother. Not in ever.